And we're back for another discussion. I think we should address, like, part of the Delphi community, Facebook groups. Because I belong to one of them. One that's been around for years. Or trolls in general. Or Or Facebook groups. I mean, trolls. You have this negative impact no matter what. You have these people who are condescending. You know, I thought uh, it was like a YouTube thing, but here's the situation going on with this group. You know, there's a couple moderators... Um, and they're, they're pretty good moderators, but you, you know, she's got her problem kids over there and I've been a part of this group for years and it's like, it, it makes it to where it's so hard to chime in because, you know, there, you have these people that want to like, you know, um, talk to you any kind of way or just be condescending or, you know, just say little, take little digs and little jabs and like people get sick of that shit. They're in there because they want to talk about the case. They want to talk about the facts of the case. Like for instance, let me let me tell you what happened to me. I think it was like a week or so ago. So somebody posts the murder sheet um, podcast, right? Or no, no, no. This was the I think transcripts of the Barbara McDonald interview. It might have been um, it might have been the podcast. Anyway, and part of the the interview, we hear that. Um, the cops were going to say to Keegan, you know, we'll make all your charges go away. Just like, you know, give up your dad, basically. Yeah. And I'm just like floored by that. Right. And and the reason I'm floored by that is because Keegan walked free for three years and was offending when the cops first arrested Keegan in 2017. I mean, they found child porn out. The, I'm sorry. See, Sam, I, I don't mm. it's going to be hard to switch to that. And I get why people want to call it CSAM yeah, instead of with any word you CP. Say, yeah, yeah, any P word, you know, we have to be careful with. Because the algorithm pick up, picks up on all that. So, you know, I was reacting to, you know, that situation. Because to me it was upsetting. So, you know, somebody goes and hijacks my comment and is like, duh, well the cops aren't going to tell them. You know, they're going to... uh you know, the cops will lie, lie to them. And, and I'm just, like, I get it, lady, okay? You just wanted to be rude. Like, why don't you comment your own reaction to, like, the entire thing instead of, like, hijacking my little comment, my reaction? So I get upset about it. Even I was being a little sensitive about it. So, like, I cut out the little part of, you know, my comment and, and, and her comment. And I posted it to the group and was just like, you know, maybe I'm being a little sensitive, but, like, you know... Um, maybe this is why people don't chime in in the group, you know, like, Mm -hmm. so then I have like, I mean, immediately people are right fighting for this lady typing biography biographies, you know, cause it was some confusion about what my comment actually meant. Like, I think my comment was like, let Keegan walk free. Oh my God, I can't, Mm -hmm. you know? And it was in response and reaction to this, you know, podcast or transcript or whatever. Okay. So, I mean, I just didn't see where it was necessary for somebody to, like, comment under mine, duh, and talk shit. And then when I try to call it out, like, I have a hundred comments that I now can't respond to because the moderators decided to um, turn the comments off. So I can't even clarify or respond at this point, even though I've got a hundred people dragging me all over Facebook, like... You know, because they're not understanding, you know, what my comment meant. They thought I was being rude maybe first or something like that. And, yeah. you know, and, and I mean, I get it. But at the end of the day, I, you know, maybe it was petty of me to call it out. But it, it, my point was this is why people have a problem commenting in this group. And it's not like, you know, um, this is, I mean, it is a very large group. But no wonder you guys have problems with Redditors. No wonder you guys are, are hated with the YouTubers. It's like, there's so much, like, there's a, if all these different people don't like you guys, like, what is that saying about your group? And I don't think it's the mods per se, but, you know, sometimes, you know how these cliquish groups get, you know, they, in these little communities, whether it be YouTube or Delphi or any community, people kind of click up and, you know, if somebody's liking my posts and I'm joking with them, if somebody like has a little tiff with them, you know, they, they go right fight for each other, wrong or right. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, if, if you would have read 
this person's comment, I mean, it was rude. And instead of people being like, you know, that was kind of rude, it was just like, you know, they're all right fighting for their friend and then calling me immature for being petty and calling it out, which it kind of was. But at the end of the day, like, talk to your girl. Maybe maybe you should be like, hey, girl, you know, I, I know you're one of my ass kissers because I'm a moderator, but maybe you can chill on, like, running people out of the group. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's a problem on no matter what social media on, whether you're talking about Reddit or... You, it, it, it's not necessarily the group. It's the, it, No matter where you go online, you're going to run into this issue. Yeah, I've seen it everywhere. There's always negative in it, in it, and it prevents progress because there's always these negative people saying things. Well, now they're running, and I'll, I'm going to call this lady BJ because I know this used to be a public group, but it's now a private group, and these are Facebook people, and I don't know like the rules with this, so I don't want to say anybody's real name in case you know because this is YouTube, it's yeah, a I different wouldn't say platform. Anybody's, I wouldn't say well, anybody's real name. this lady BJ, okay, she's she is a great comment. She's like a real MVP of the group. Okay, mm. she's very insightful. She she has great theories. She's she thinks critically, and you know I I feel like she's kind of getting ganged up on now. They're like saying her account is fake or she's some other lady, and <laughs> and I've ran into that before. I know, and it's just crazy. Like, just let her comment. Like, let her comment. This at the end of the day, this is a discussion about a horrific murder of two children like the pettiness and the the bullshit and the you know people sniping at each other like let's get back down to the basics like you know we're all here to like see justice for this for these little girls you know and and people want to go and they want to go in these groups and feel like they're a part of something and they're doing something helpful and it's not fun to like you know it's like i told bj i said you know what it's like it's like clickish in high school, and they're the cool kids, and unfortunately, we're not one of the cool kids. Yeah. Well, that doesn't matter, because what matters is the, is the crime that was committed. You know, and like, like I said, I've seen this everywhere. You can go on any social media. You go to YouTube and find the stupidest video, the cutest cat video, and there'll be snide comments under it. You know, any Reddit post about something... Some somebody at Denny's and there's a snide comment and it's always there's always some snide comments and well see I always you know I and and I've been in this group for years and I don't always respond to stupidity mm -hmm. usually I let it go but it's like now that this case is really heating up and we may actually see justice soon it's like I see where these other people have kind of formed cliques and there's so many people that are wanting to be a part of the discussion that aren't going to be able to because they're scared to type in your group lady yeah i i've learned to ignore that kind of stuff i just let it go and say like, whatever <laughs> i just well it's hard to be a moderator because i've been a moderator for for larger youtube channels and you do you make friends because you see these people every day you communicate with each other then you get in the in the side chats you know what i mean by that yeah facebook messenger groups discord yeah. groups and that's where the real shade is at i know and then you guys go and act like you're not all being shady behind the scenes when you are and then you know people like bj get picked on or you know people like me because you know I, it's I like mean, elementary school all it over is. again there's always somebody being picked on no matter what and it, it, it no matter what, no matter where you go, I don't care where you go. I've seen this, I'll see the same thing on repeat everywhere I go online, no matter where it is. You know, the comments on New York Post articles. I mean, there's always, yeah, there's all, it's always there. It's always, well, yeah. the, she has some real MVPs in her group. Like, I really enjoy some of these people's content. There's this Miss Canada lady, I live for her discussions. Um, there's BJ, you know, she's very insightful. There's and it sucks HT. When you got, there you got, it sucks when you got the intelligent people who really want to do the right thing, but they're getting, they're not commenting or they're not, or they're not, they're not participating in the group and helping and putting in their thoughts because they're afraid and they'll go to another group and put it in if they can, but still you run into it another group too. Well, but, see what I'm finding is like, you know, it, it the problem is like, you know, the mods don't want to say anything to their favorites, okay? Mm. Or they'll try to twist it into the other person's fault, like how they tried to twist it into my fault. Because, you know, somebody don't want to say something to their friend or their favorite person over there. But if you're going to be a mod, you need to be fair. Well, I've learned, too, when you've got groups, too, you got people who start hating you, even if you own the group. And they'll start reporting your post 
and get your Facebook taken down, and you're in Facebook jail for this and that. And, it, and it's so childish. It's like, why? Yeah, we have a couple of our MVPs are in Facebook jail now, and it really That's sucks. That's what happens to people that you're talking about with 100 comments under yours, and the little mean girl groups. They're going in, going in the regular ever Facebook. I do report people's comments. They're going in the regular Facebook and, and reporting stuff <sighs> and pr purposely getting them banned off Facebook. That's you know, crazy. That's what they're doing. That's what they do, yeah. I just don't respond. Like if, if I, I don't want to waste the energy. I mean, there's a, it's not about that. It's like, it's time to go find some answers. Let's go talk about in, in, topics. Let's, you know, let's discuss this. And do it in a constructive way. You know, like my reaction shouldn't have got a duh from anybody. Like it was my reaction reacting to the cops telling Keegan he could walk. Like I understand there could be a big picture here and there's a reason why they didn't uh, put him in jail right then and there, you know, in the grand scheme of things, this could be, uh, um, see Sam ring that, yeah. that goes far well, that, and wide. That's what they do is same thing. I've seen it with, with drug dealers all the time is they'll bust some guy with some, with a little bit. They're like, well, where'd you get this? And who's your, who's giving, who's your dealer? And they'll want to go up the line. Well, they'll let that person go. Cops really don't care about who commits crimes. They really don't. Well, as an abuse mm. victim, I was thinking about the other victims that were, were victimized. I understand what you're saying. You know what I mean? And it's horrible. And us normal people do care about that stuff, but cops don't. I mean, but I that really... was what, if if the Facebook moderator lady comes over here, name starts with an S, you know, that's what my reaction was to. That's why I reacted the way I did. And I said, oh my God, I can't. And then I went and I thought about it. And I'm just like, that is horrible for those victims. And then, you know, the next day I'm checking my stuff and I see, well, duh, the cops aren't going to tell Keegan. Blah, blah. <laughs> I mean, shut up, lady. Like, go go post your whole entire another comment about your reaction I would, I would to have, the interview. I would have posted back, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> right? I'm glad LOL. you didn't see it. I mean, I felt like kind of being petty. And then they all, like, tagged me and stuff. And I didn't even check that shit. I didn't even go back and look at all the comments once it seen like, a hundred of them. I mean, I can't, I was one person. I wasn't going to be able to, like... I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even listen to you. I wouldn't even let it bother <laughs> but me. I, but I wouldn't have been able to because Miss Sarah was going to go talk her little piece and then turn the freaking comments off. <laughs> Oh, it's crazy. Man. So I couldn't defend myself if I wanted to. That, that's why you have so many groups because one group gets so bad and they go somebody they splits off, her and, off and they and then you form your own group. Because I want to say this used problem. to be Katie Roby's group. That's I yeah. think how I got in it from YouTube, Miss Fucking Wonderful. Yeah, that's her group. They split off, they make another group, and you start having some of the same problems again because then they want to be Nazis about comments and stuff. Oh, I said the N word. Sorry, the Nazi word. But. uh you can't even say killed anymore. You have to undead, unalive people. Yeah. If I said Ukrainians, that's they, the same thing as the N-word. So, I mean, people don't really, I'm not going to mention that. We're going to go down that road. Are you, <laughs> you're going to get my video struck. <laughs> Stop. Facebook said it was okay to talk crap about the N word people. I can't now. go talk crap on my Facebook, so I got to go talk crap on my YouTube. I got to vent about this. Because it, it, it just, it bothers me. I mean. I'll make my own Delphi group and have a wall of snitches. Oh my gosh. That was in your tax group. I did not. It was fun moderating that group. Because oh <laughs> there was no moderation ever. If you report anything, you got put on the wall of snitches. Every day I had a wall of snitches. He's you got banned from the group and you got put on the wall of snitches. If you report, and that's where, and that's where, and one group I part of from for the place where I grew up, the exiled group, is you not allowed to report stuff. If you report stuff, you get kicked out of the group. You're no reporting. Yeah. You know because that's it should be a when you're in certain groups it should be safe to to be in a safe place. I, right. I don't mean to be a safe place this type of person, but well, when the it reporting comes, gets out of hand for for stupid little things that aren't even like. It's so menial. To me, I feel like it depends on the content. When you're talking about something as serious as Delphi, there does need to be some moderation because there's a lot of, it brings a lot of crazy yeah, people they, out. Yeah, there the does trolls. need to be some moderation. It, it, there really does because people say some horrible things. And also, but when I got a funny meme, it's funny, okay? Yes. <laughs> but, you know, and, and then the families and some of the people, they, and e even LE, they're watching these groups. Yeah. I'm 100% convinced now that they work our stuff. If you're a Delphi watcher, let me know if you think Bobby Camworth is the cops. I'm not sure. Who is that? That's that one troll channel that's been around the Delphi community for a long time. He uploads weird videos. His name's Bobby Camworth. 
I'll have to find it. I have, I don't remember. Oh, that really one. weird, weird, weird down the hole stuff. I mean, that's really creepy. I like true crime mm -hmm. Jesus. I like true crime Jesus. I like um, true crime Maria. She's really good. Um, Unroyal, I think is her name. Uh, Kristen behind the crime door. She's like a newer one, but I like her. I like a lot of the the females. Like, I I'm, I don't like that sleuth stuff with the JP stuff. You know. I know that got out of hand, and I was getting to be have a great communication with JP, and he's not on he's not on Twitter no more. He was really talking to me, and we were having a great getting a great report. Worked up, and I wasn't even talking about Delphi with him. I was just trying to yeah, get Yeah, well, we weren't going to go put him on a channel and exploit him for views. No, yeah. It, it was... You know, the guy really needed needed help, and I'm, I'm, if he's gotten help, praise God. For some reason, I hate to say this, I wish Greeno was out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't like Greeno, but I wish he was out to throw some curveballs oh in Oh, my here. God. When <laughs> Greeno told JP, I'll go with you when he was on the run, yeah, oh, yeah, my yeah. God, I lost I'll my shit. Myself, I was like, you know what? I don't even like Greeno either, but I was just, yeah, I'll, I'll go with you. I yeah, was I'll just turn like, myself in with you. We'll go in together. I was dead. I was like, that is so funny. But JP is an interesting dude. He's very interesting. You know, once you get to know him and where he's coming from and he, he he's not all that crazy. He kind of is, but kind of isn't. Well, I mean, he's I'm, got some mental instability issues, yes. But his IQ is so high; it's out there. You can't grasp what he's trying to say. That's what it is. Yeah. His IQ is really high. So I like some of the people that split off and that are like, you know, take this this really seriously, and you know, like aren't in it for exploiting people and making a bunch of money. You yeah, know? and I think too many people try to click up and stuff. And it's like, no, do your thing. You don't have to click up. You don't have to do that. And they want to... Collaborate. When you, we call when it you, collaborate. When you click up, you want to you you mold what you think into their thing so you don't be kicked out of the click. But that's, that's not the way it should be. Yeah. Because well, I have a few ideas that, you know, I can't... You can't go on... Well... We'll just do ideas on my channel, and I don't... You know, if I get a bunch of hate in my comments, I get a bunch of hate. I don't check them. There's even other things that, on, and other issues in, in the world, global issues, that if I ish, if I offered my real opinion, it, it, you know, it's not allowed on this, this platform right now. Right. And so... Well, or if I'm you even offer leave... the real evidence, you'll still be deleted. <laughs> but I, anyways... I'm not going to leave my Facebook group, but I mean... I just wanted to vent a little bit. It's frustrating when I see good commenters and stuff that offer a lot to the table get bullied or, you know, picked on by this click of the favorites. And, you know, like nobody's going to say, hey, y'all need to chill out, you know, because, you know, these are the same people that they help your group grow, you know. But when you play favorites like that, then you, you miss out. Like, you miss out on some really great... Then you really stop great... your group from growing, too, and from real content, from real ideas. Because other people, like I said, growing off and joining other groups or making their own group, and so your group is stagnant and it doesn't do anything. Well, I just feel bad for BJ because, you know, whether she's this other person or not, like, in, unless, you know, there's some receipts. But what if she is? Who cares? She's saying smart, intelligent things. And, and her dialogue is great, you know? Mm. And it's like she's... She's a very, very intelligent lady, and, you know, she should she should be able to comment without people snarking on her, talking about, you're this person and that, and if that's going on, then where's the moderator to, like, shut it down, you know, but you're going to go shut my little, you know, and I don't even know why they even approved my post when they don't even approve most of them anyway. It's like she almost approved it knowing I'd probably regret it, but then mm. have 100 people drag me. And then not let me defend or clarify anything. You should take it as a badge of honor. You got 100 people dragging you. Like 100 people took their time out of their day. <laughs> I mean, it I was. Mean, I, I didn't read all of them. That's what makes people. Haters make you famous, baby. I who, mean, who said that? Where'd that come from? Make your haters your motivators. I don't know. My haters it, are my motivators. But still. But BJ, don't you leave that group. You keep posting, girl. I like what you have to say. Um. HT, this one dude, he's got a lot of cool shit to say. Miss Canada, I like her over there. There's so many. There, she has a, she has some really good people over there, and she's just hopefully, you know, this will, we'll all see justice soon. That's that's what we all want. We want justice, yeah. and I have a feeling Today's it's going to happen for us. Today is the day. We're going to get on out of here now. Y'all have a good one. Redneck and Jamie out.